Hello. Well, happy uh, Saturday, everyone, and uh, welcome to Fredericksburg, Virginia. Uh, today, we are here at Funland in Fredericksburg. Um, uh, it, honestly, if, it, if you didn't have a GPS, it was, it was kind of tough to find. Um, it's tucked back here in a bunch of uh, shopping area, but um, we're here at Funland today to, uh, one, ride the three-story tall uh, 1700 foot uh, go-kart track um, now Funland is you would be considered a small amusement park um, if you've ever been to fun spot in Orlando uh, Kissimmee or Atlanta um, it's very similar to that where you pay as you go it's free parking it's free to walk around um, but to do any of the attractions you do have to um, to pay um, some of the attractions that they do have and this is off of their website is a twist twist and shout which is a um, small uh, roller coaster a buzzy spin out uh, which is temporary closed laser tag which we'll talk about laser tag in a minute because they have they're running a really neat Halloween thing for uh, um, their laser tag um, XD Dark Ride, which is temporary closed, and I believe if I saw that, it is not opening until next year. Um, a Clip and Climb, temporarily closed. Their Mini Bowling, which is open. Frog Hopper, Mini Wheel, and their Harrogate VR, which are temporary closed. But a lot of their outside attractions, the Tilt-A-Whirl, they have a Scrambler, Tubs of Fun, um, the fun slide, which is temporarily closed, yeah. mini golf, batting cages, and of course, what's known as Thunder Speedway, which is their three-story tall go-kart track, which we're here to ride. Yeah. Um, but we're going to show you the property before we head on over to the go-kart track. So uh, let's head on in. Let's go. All right. So we are in. Um, it is kind of dark in here. Um, so we we had our temperature checked, which uh, when we came in, um, because we did uh, pre, we bought pre online. So we've got our, uh, our card um, to uh, go and do things. Um, there's our card right here. So we'll be able to go and uh, walk around. And like I said, we're, gonna, we're using it to uh, do the go-kart track. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go take a look on the inside and uh, see what we got. Um, they do have kiosks to, um, to get your cards if you have a card already. Um, so if you don't have a card, you, you can, um, Go through, you can go through the machine or you can buy online, which they really kind of want you to probably be buy online um, before you uh, before you come. But um, to reload, you can uh, reload right here at the kiosk, which is right behind Tim and Wes. So uh, let's go take a look at the uh, what the attractions are inside. So here's um, basically just kind of show you right there is the entrance. Um, here's the dark ride that. Um, doesn't say it's going to be open until next year so it just shows temporary closed it'd be interesting to come back up here when this does open to uh take a look at um what the dark ride xd or xd art uh dark ride is just looking at like the pictures on the top at the top it looks like a buzz light year yeah, it, it, buzz it does probably look like a little buzz light year type thing so um but yeah we'll we'll definitely once it comes back open we'll come back and take a look at that all right, so here's their uh, clip and climb. Um, definitely um, different towers that you can uh, you go up. Um, of course, this is now temporary closed, obviously COVID-19, but um, really, really neat. Um, different types of uh, walls that you can climb. So different difficulty levels. Here's like their mini Ferris wheel uh, for more, mostly for little kids. Um, it, it does say uh, if you are above 54 inches, you, you can't get on. Sorry. Of course, here's some of their uh, bigger games. So, um, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at uh, see what's uh, what what they have. All right, so. Um, the video game area, the arcade area, which is open, um, the, again, masks are required, um, a, a plethora of games um, for you to try. Um, of course, you know, a lot of the games you do, you can um, earn um, some uh, things, so it's really, really uh, 
really, really cool. So uh, let's go ahead and let's go take a look. So now me and Wesley are going to take you guys around the arcade. So they have Willy Wonka, Love, Crane Machines, mostly. Ski ball. Uh, I don't know what this is. Actually, there's a couple of games up there, no. like the Halo. There's a lot of them. Looks like a poop game. The scariest game I probably think it is. Jesus. There is. And then milk toss, milk jump toss. And then cornhole. Now this. Now these are the games that. Like, that ticket. Oh, um, I don't know what to call this. It's like jackpot. A lot of these are prize games. I love Nintendo, Nickelodeon. It's a lot. Probably what my favorite one. Oh, the Gremlin. Tickets. The song will get that song that gets stuck in your head. Yes. Sonic, Sonic. unicorns, and DC. You got your basketball. Celtics, Lakers, Chicago, and Wizards. They got two. And here's Connect Four. And then you have Pac Man Battle Royale. Yeah, you shoot games. These are probably what's these favorite games. There's your race car. I don't even know what this one is, but it's called Target Bravo. And then over here you have a game I haven't seen. Nerf. Nerf Arcade. Hi, Dad. Whoa. Hi, Dad. So, you, basically, all this is now like all your shooter games Aliens, Terminator. So, here's the second half of the arcade you got air hockey, Jurassic Park. More tickets, air hockey, and then you have a roller coaster simulator, Injustice Arcade. It's a fun game. Super Mario. You got a Mario Kart. The Mario Kart. You got Mike. Then Adam's family. All right, so uh, Tim gave me back the camera. So uh, um, this place does have a small roller coaster inside called Twist and Shout. Um, if you've been to IAPA, um, you've probably saw this in some uh, some videos from IAPA. Um, this is a spinning coaster, so figure a figure eight coaster that you know as it's going around, the cars are spinning, and it looks like a lot of fun. Alright, so here is their bumper cars. It's called Spin Out. You have your kind of like a inner tube type uh, bumper cars. Not your typical bu uh, bumper cars, um, but really, really neat to, uh, to try out. I'm not sure. I don't think they're up and running. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'll, you know, I'll find out. 
All right, so I did just ask a, uh, a staff member, the, um, the spin out is working. So um, definitely uh, something to try out. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna go take a look at the, uh, the bowling alley. So right here is their laser tag, which is now during Halloween, is a laser tag with zombies, as you can see. As you can see with the zombie outside, which actually scared us. I So, yeah. All right, so Tim uh, mentioned the uh, the haunted laser tag. It's every Friday and Saturday from seven to close, starting from October second to the thirtieth. Eight dollars per person, um, included with your wristbands. So, um, you know, it is intended for guests ages thirteen and up. Uh, props will be visible during it, but definitely worth something uh, trying out um, if uh, you're into the uh, entire Halloween and kind of an interesting thing with um, you know having zombies come after you. All right, so here is their Holligate uh, VR. Um, not up and running. Um, we've played this before at a, another facility um, similar to the Holligate. Um, really, really fun. It's a four-person um, shooting game where basically you're in basically one spot and you get to uh, shoot aliens or whatever. Um, uh, you know, their their games, the game they've got set up. Um, now, it is $6 per person. Uh, I guess if you are a pass holder here, it is $3 um, per uh, session, I guess. Of course, what amusement place would not be is uh, the uh, mini bowling alleys. Um, so much, so much fun. We've played this at a couple locations before. Um, really good and really fun for, um, for young children. Um, so that way they don't have to carry the big balls um, at a big size bowling alley. But really, really uh, fun. Um, they, they're running about six lanes, so um, you know a lot of people could be playing it all at once. All right, so um, really some cool. We actually were talking to the manager here, and um, uh, he's actually going to take us into the laser tag. So um, hopefully, be able to show you guys uh, what the laser tag looks like. Uh, who is getting you uh, uh, vested up to fight his lab assistants who have gone awry because they've been infected by the zombie infection. Uh, the mode of laser tag that we play is called zombie mode. So it starts off, everybody has blue vests just like you see here. And then one vest will randomly turn green and they're the zombie and they have to infect others. And uh, the goal is to infect the whole arena. So if you have 10 people, one person starts as a zombie and then their job is to uh, infect other zombies, and then those guys will help infect others. So it's like last man standing kind of thing. That's cool. We're in here than there normally would be because we're uh, in our, we'll call it daytime mode, but at night all those black lights are turned off, so all you have is the effect lights on the different uh, effects that we have in here. Um, we also have live actors that will be walking around in zombie makeup that will be scaring, uh, scaring people as they're walking through as well. We also have some animatronics. The animatronics are not plugged in right now uh, because we don't want to scare people too bad during the day. But things like this here, this is an animatronic that would sit up uh, and scream and yell. Uh, we have another animatronic over here that sits up and his head rotates back and forth. And then we have a really big werewolf in the back corner that, uh, that's about uh, seven feet tall that moves. That is, that is cool. Feel free to walk around. All right, thank you. So as he said, um, the, the lights get turned out. They do have some animatronics. R really cool, um, you know, be able to, to um, you know, basically be able to uh, have some fun um, with some uh, zombie. And like you said, it's kind of like a, a last man standing, a zombie tag. Um, this place would be wild at night with the lights off. Um, there's a, a we he has a werewolf seven foot tall werewolf that does move um obviously has sounds so really 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 neat um yeah definitely we'll have to come back up here and uh, uh possibly try this out um but sounds really really fun um mul it's multiple level there's actually a second level if you go up so um yeah really really cool all right, what amusement location is not complete without a concession stand? Um, the Funland Cafe, 
Um, of course, they have a lot of drinks uh, to offer. Just kind of show you what they uh, have to offer. They have cheese pizza, uh, personal, large, pepperoni, same thing, personal, large, chicken tenders. Oh, it's changing on me. Yep. Uh, some side snacks, french fries, nachos, hot dog, chocolate chip cookie. Um, a lot of your basic stuff. The prices are not bad. Um, so very comparable, especially for a large pizza. Comparable to you know as if you were going to uh, another location. And then of course they have your ices. Again, twenty ounce bottle for three dollars. That's not bad at all. Um, really, really good pricing. And they also offer. Hershey's ice cream. All right, so that's going to do us inside. Um, we're going to head outside and um, kind of show you uh, some of the uh, attractions outside before we hit the go-kart track. All right, one of the first things we see when we come out, once we came out the door, we made it look, we looked right. And, you know, here's their miniature golf course. Uh, looks really nice. Very nice foliage. They must be working on their uh, the fountains and their uh, street rivers because they aren't uh, filled. Of course, we're starting to get into the cold time of the year, so they may have uh, emptied those. But all in all, I mean, the turf does look um, a little rough if you can't tell. Um, they'll, they'll probably be changing it out, but um, but very very nice. Looks challenging. All right, so if you're going to be doing uh, miniature golf or batting cages, um, this is where you do come to uh, pick up your um, your clubs, the balls, and your helmets. And we'll head on over to the uh, batting cage. All right, so now we're at the batting cages. They do have a slow, medium, so uh, slow pitch or uh, softball. It goes from slow all the way up to fast. Looks like they're running about six uh, lanes. Uh, nicely, freshly, looks like freshly painted um, batter's boxes. You even got targets to hit, something to aim at. Um, very, you know, very, very, uh, tip, you know, typical run of the mill uh, batting cages. So the different thing about the different parts you've been to, like, Alright, so um, here is their rookie track. Um, kind of looks like a NASCAR track. It is um, at an angle, kind of maybe to give uh, little kids that, that NASCAR feeling. Um, left turn, left turn. Yep, a lot of left turns. Um, their carts look in, actually in uh, really good shape. But these are for obviously the younger kids. Um, probably these probably only go about five to six miles an hour. But track looks like in really good shape. Looks like it'd be a lot of fun for young kids. All right, so you can see right on the other side. You can see the go kart track. Um, so um, here is their tubs of fun. Not operating right now. Um, most likely due to staffing be a lot of fun for uh, little younger kids of course the classic the tilt a whirl I remember riding this when I was a kid honestly it's so fun it is a lot yeah it is a lot of fun classic ride and then of course the scrambler who doesn't love the scrambler um, but not operating today um, not quite operational due to uh, COVID. Um, COVID and staffing so um, but we'll definitely have to come back out here when it is operating. All right, so um, one of the attractions that is not definitely not operating right now is their fun slide. Um, that is not definitely not operation. It does say on their website, temporary closed. Um, so won't be able to ride that today. All right, there it is. Um, the 1,700 foot long, three story Thunder Speedway uh, track. Um, the go kart the go the the go karts go roughly about 15 miles an hour. Um, that's 
what the uh, the website does say. Now, what is interesting about this go kart track? Um, if you have been to Fun Spot, um, the two gentlemen who own Fun Spot, this is their design. Uh, Funland did have to get um, approval to use it, um, and but this is uh, a lot of fun. So we are going to get ready. We're going to go and we're going to ride this. Um, first up, I'm going to let Tim and Wesley ride this, but we're gonna we're gonna head on in. All right, so something I completely missed on the website regarding their Thunder Speedway is you have to be a licensed driver. Um, so unfortunately, Tim and Wes, they, um, they can't, they're not able to ride um, unless they ride um, in the passenger seat, which that's something they don't want to do. They, you know, they want to be able to drive it. So um, it's kind of, a, kind of a bummer. Um, so I really don't want to ride it with, you know, if they can't ride it. So, um, but we're going to go ahead and, you know, we do have a, uh, a play card. So we're going to go in and we're going to do some of the, uh, other, uh, attractions. All right. So since we didn't do the, um, the go-karts, we are going to ride Twist and Shout. So, um, Wesley's not going to ride with us, but we're going to go on and hopefully they'll allow us to video on it. If not... We'll see you after the ride. All right, so we are on Twist and Shout. Um, seats are very, very tight. So if you're a big person or with white hips, it's going to be very, very tight. You ready, Tim? All right, I think we're getting ready to go. Like I said, this is a, uh, um, a ride that you, you saw at... Um, I Appa, whoa, here we go. Let's see, uh, like I said, this, this cart is actually supposed to uh, spin. Yep. So, um, oh. let's see. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep. Okay. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oh. Whee. <laughs> Woohoo. For a, um, Basically a kitty ride, it's it's can get a little intense with some of that spinning. Whoa, here we go. And around we go. Uh, this is fun. Let me get let me get this turned around so you can kind of see a little This this thing is intense. I wouldn't say as intense as it's, like it's, or it's definitely not a big coaster intense, but the uh, you definitely get some wind. It, it, you definitely get some uh, nice little spinning. It's not your uh, it's not a it's not a kitty kitty coaster. Oh no! But it's it, this is fun. Definitely, uh, yeah, it definitely takes you up and around. Very, very nice. Yeah. Oh, we're going again. Yeah, I figured. I'll tell you one thing, it gets you dizzy too. 
Think, Tim. That's actually not bad. It's this is actually a really nice coaster. It spins you quite a few times. This would um, definitely be a good starter coaster. This would be a good starter coaster for a small kid. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely fun. Again, for six dollars, we went around quite a few times. So, well worth it. So that's going to do us here at Funland in Fredericksburg. All in all, a really good day out here. Um, definitely um, inside the arcade, they've got a cleaning crew. Um, they've even got uh, vests on that are going around. Sorry, we're right in the sun. Um, but all in all, a really good day. Um, they're constantly cleaning um, all the attractions, hand sanitizing stations. Um, that roller coaster was really fun. Yeah. Um, the boys really enjoyed the uh, bumper cars. We'll definitely, uh, definitely come back out here. Um, thanks to the general manager, Mr. Novak, for talking to us real quick and actually gave us an insider tip that their uh, fun lane is working with uh, the city of Fredericksburg and hoping to put in a 200-foot uh, drop tower. Um, ain't going to miss that once that gets uh, put in. But with that being said, we are off, and we hope everyone has a good day. This review is done. See ya.